Hello guys, recently on Twitter I shared a tip that you can use ChatGPT to generate the database schema visually. In this video I want to expand with a practical example showcasing that because that tweet got a lot of likes and attention and I want to show how you can use ChatGPT on the web to even plan database schema even before building the project. So we will start with a prompt and then we'll reprompt ChatGPT to get the database into a proper format like for example Mermaid. I will show Mermaid in this video and also why Mermaid is so popular because it can be reused in multiple ways. And here's the initial prompt where you have project description from client. I took it from Upwork, pretty simple system to replace spreadsheet for online learning center like classes, teachers and calculations for payouts. So it should be a relatively simple database schema and you can use ChatGPT even before you go to cursor or cloud code or whatever is your AI tool of choice. You can use ChatGPT with GPT-5 on free version, I'm on free version, to plan database schema. Because database is a very important part of every application. If you do it wrong, it may backfire really heavily in the future. So we'll start with this prompt, just paste project description. When I ask ChatGPT to try to build a database schema, I deliberately specify it's a Laravel project because Laravel has a few things like default tables and column structures, and here's the result. So it provides you with a database schema. This is the default Laravel users table with created at and updated at, but it adds role here. And then it provides a sample data, which is important part of my initial prompt here. On top, provide examples. So you as a developer would understand the examples and would be able to evaluate if the structure is good. So we have users, classes, also foreign keys, also a few examples and so on. So in total we have how many? Six tables. Okay. And it may seem to you like vibe coding so we could proceed with building that database. But no, actually at this point we need to evaluate and make changes. So this would be my next prompt to make changes in that database and the first change I would make is would not use enum columns on the database level. Instead I prefer PHP enums. So same here, classes, class type. And this will be my next prompt. I require two changes. First I require to change classes to something else with prefix and this may be a rule for any future DB operations with ChatGPT and also I asked to not use enums in the database. Now what will change? Perfect, thanks for pointing that out, blah blah. And now we have role ID here, we have roles lookup, we have learning classes instead of classes and we have foreign key here and probably it will mean more database tables. Okay, so basically you need to go through a few iterations until you're happy with the database on this level. Next phase is to ask ChatGPT to provide that in Mermaid. And why Mermaid? I will show you in a minute. So in total we have 10 database tables and my next prompt is provide the schema in Mermaid format. So here's the code for our database tables in Mermaid ER diagram format. So the same tables and at the end a few things about relationships and then we can copy code and paste into somewhere into some tool which would show those tables visually as a visual schema. And here you have quite a few choices. For example, in VS Code you can install extension called Markdown Preview Mermaid Support. And then if I copy and paste the same Mermaid code from ChatGPT with that Mermaid Markdown syntax in a Markdown file, here on the right, we can see the preview, the visual preview of our database. So you can evaluate that visually. But you don't even need VS Code for that. There's a website called mermaid.live where you just paste the mermaid code and you have the same thing visually where you can even zoom in and go left and right and stuff like that. And then you can save and share diagram and then discuss with your colleagues or with your client and raise questions about whether their entities are more or less correct. And even if the client is not technical enough, they should understand the basic principles of database structure. At least this worked for me in the past. I could discuss with non-technical clients, transforming the questions like, is the relationship good or not to human language question like what would be the class types 
whether it be just two class types like one-on-one -on -one or group coaching and will there be more in the future or for example who needs to decide the base pay or pay per student is it configurable globally is it per class per teacher so basically in which table or configuration in the code you need that data but this is much easier to discuss with yourself or with client when you have version 1 or it's actually version 0 0.1 i would call of job description of project description transformed into a database and finally you can ask even chat gpt to transform that into png you can just prompt transform that into png or something like that okay it seems to be ready download file file not found this is interesting kind of a bug it didn't happen to me so probably actually chat gpt wouldn't be the first place to generate png those tools that i've shown are actually suitable more for that vs code extension or online editors and actually even github will preview the database for you from mermaid and chat gpt did it for me in the past and chat gpt did it for me in the past actually let's reprompt it i will prompt download doesn't work file not found Okay, so it generated PNG image, which was not what I expected, and also I've reached the free limit. So yeah, as typical with AI, whenever I see people, for example, on stages, on conferences, try to live code with AI, it's random result. So, but I will deliberately not edit that out because it's the reality of AI. You prompt, it works, and then you reprompt the same thing and it doesn't work as well anymore the second time. But anyway, you get the idea. GPT, or you can also use Cloud Web for that, are pretty good at coming up with the structure of the database, which you then transform into Mermaid and then can make changes to those database before you even write the code. Then you can also ask it to generate SQL, for example, which you then paste into cursor or cloud code, for example, generate the database schema in whatever is your language or framework. For example, for Laravel, it would be generating models and migrations from already prepared, reviewed, and ready to use database schema. What do you think about this use case? Have you ever done something like this? The planning mode of the database for a project with AI? Let's share your experience in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.